good, Scooter, everybody. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. It is 2023. We are going into 2024. And going into that year, most men in what you're supposed to do as men, if we were to look at you know, a hundred years ago in the United States or in the Western world, anywhere in the world, uh, your roles haven't really changed. Uh, you know, guys are now willing to give a lot more parity and obviously, you know, hitting a woman and having multiple wives and, you know, doing things like that is much different, um, now than before, or, you know, having outside kids and, you know, things like that was more tolerant or tolerable at that point. But for the most part, you're expected to do what men have always been doing, which is providing, protecting, taking care of women and communities and families. That's your role. My grandfather was born in 1918. He died in 2019 at the age of 101. And um, his role back then in the 50s and 60s and 40s is the same thing as my role today. But now when you look at women, women are different, all right? Women have, uh, you know, I don't need a man attitude. They're in the professional sector, cooking, cleaning, taking care of kids, being submissive. It's something that's a turn off to a lot of women. At least they'll tell you that publicly. I don't know about, you know, behind closed doors. But what they want is still to be courted like women in the 1918s or the 1940s or 50s. Now, let me just say this. Mulatto's on the podcast. Mulatto makes a very good point. She says that don't be looking for a traditional woman if you're not a traditional man. Let's check it out. I always be saying they want a traditional woman. Like, oh, can you cook? Can you do it? You not Shut a up. traditional man. Thank you. Be How a traditional man. Is you even a breadwinner, boo? Sit down. Anyway, thank you so much can for Can you change interview. your tire? Thank yeah. You. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Really? Uh-huh. Have you built a house? Have you built a house, <laughs> baby? Y'all want traditional women. Y'all not traditional men. <laughs> Period. They don't deserve a traditional no, woman. No, you don't. You don't, boo. You should be submissive to me, actually. Now, as, as scathing as that is, I believe that a lot of black men, we can look at that and listen to that and say, okay, that's fair, right? But I want you to hear what Tia Maori says on this podcast right now. How hard is it? in the dating oh, world now. Oh my god. <laughs> what is it like out there for for, Do for we a single woman? Shot of tequila? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I've been single for 5 years. Huh? So I don't know what this world is like out there, but I know it, but from what I see and from what I hear it is tough. It is very tough mm -hmm. and it is exhausting. <laughs> like it's exhausting. I'm going to throw the towel in. <laughs> Someone had told me and I was, I, I, I wanted to be like, no, I, I disagree with you and I don't want to believe it. My last relationship when dating was, you know, when I was, you know, dating this person, it was beautiful. It was amazing. It was wonderful. There was courting that was, you know, involved. Um, and I was saying how I feel like that's no longer, you know, uh, present meaning like people just don't court each other anymore and this person was like well you know that's just that's old news like people people just don't do that anymore there's just this whole new way of doing things and I'm like you mentioned tradition you know and I think that's where it kind of needs to go back to you know where you know a man is um courting a woman and and showing her you know how much he appreciates her and wants her and loves her or wants to be with her, they have this mentality right off the bat that there is someone else. Do you know what I mean? Like there, there could be someone else. That is they're... it that they're the prize? Yes. Yes. We talking deep here. Yes. We about to get into it. Oh my God, that the, that the man is the prize. The man is the prize. Yes. I'm talking loud. Yes. Also, it seems as if men are now just looking at women as objects. Things are so, um, it's like instant gratification. You know what I mean? They just want something like quick, quick and easy and now. So you, you guys hear that, right? What is Tia Maori saying? Tia Maori is saying, and I want you to hear it. These men don't want to court like they used to. Okay. These men are not traditional like they used to be. Why are they not traditional 
like they used to be. Okay. Now, here, if you were to talk to one of them, Tia Maori, she would definitely say, if you're not a traditional man, don't look for a traditional woman. I, I believe Tia Maori would agree with that 100%. But listen, here's the, here's the situation, right? Tia Maori is not a traditional woman. Tia Maori is everything but a traditional woman. Okay? You can't tell her anything. Um, she got her kids. She didn't even change her name for her husband. Seems like she has very little respect for men, but she expects to be courted. See, here's a real problem in the world right now. The problem isn't that men, you know, for the most part are expecting traditional women without putting any effort. That ain't the issue. The issue is this, and we see it here. Women are not traditional women, okay? But, but listen to this. They want a traditional man. Okay, what a traditional man. And what you forgot was you don't get to say no to men and get it your way. No, what men are saying is you're not a traditional woman. You don't want to cook and clean. You don't want to do these things, Tia. So why am I going to court and chase you and, and look for value for you? You don't have that value for me. You're not going to be a traditional woman for me. So in other words, no, women hate that. And the thing about it is this, you know, and we're not even complaining about women and let's say um, lack of femininity. I'm not even going to deal with that today. Let's look at the, the main point. Men are not getting any parity. That's what men are complaining about. Women want equality, but they're not willing to give men any equality. There's no parity. There's, there's no give and take. They, they're mad at men for wanting something that they're not themselves, which is, which is clear as day and we can understand that. But listen, men, a lot of women don't feel like they need to give a man anything. So then when they get out there in the dating market and the dating market is showing them that, look, you're not who you think you are. Maybe you need to go back and work on yourself to do that. They don't want to do it. Just like me being on YouTube. Let's say, for example, I'm not getting any views. I need to go and change my strategy. I'm not losing any weight. I need to go and do what? Change my strategy. Then I can lose weight. But if I'm not willing to do what it takes to lose the weight, I shouldn't be complaining. And that's the problem you try to really explain to women. Why are you consistently looking for something that you are not willing to give. Water seeks its own level. That's why if you're a person that's a liar, you're a con artist, you're a thief, you, you get that energy back. Let me tell you, I, I know this guy, huge fashion show. Won't talk about it. Won't talk about who he is. Huge fashion show, beautiful fashion show, right? The guy is a liar. The guy is a crook. The guy is a thief, okay? He's all of that. Do you know that this particular guy, this particular individual lost all his sponsorship for using brands, using people, not giving any value for money, not doing any of that. So what happens? What happens in general? I'll tell you what happens. You get who you are. So he got dropped. He lost a potential $500,000 a year sponsorship in being shady. That's what he lost. Okay. Nobody wants to touch the guy because the guy is a liar and a goddamn thief. Now, if no man wants to touch you at what you're looking at, maybe you're not, you're not willing to give what you're looking to get. And that's why they hate Kevin Samuels. That's why you got people like Shaharazad Ali, you know, getting up on the platform and, 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 and smirking and laughing at the, at the man's death. You know, because it's true. You can't get around the question in the position that you're not willing. Uh, you can keep saying, well, I don't like how you say it. I don't like, no, 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 no. Let's deal with the fact that you don't want to give the man what he's looking for. But, you know, you want to receive, but you don't want to give. Just say it for what you are. You're selfish. We don't got to call no woman no names or be evil. Just say you're selfish. Your thinking is selfish. You want what you're not willing to get. You're selfish. You don't believe that men deserve anything. Just say that. Look, I'm a woman. I want X, Y, and Z. These men are not worth me giving them nothing. F them. Say that. Spare us. So, guys, it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all you do. Scare the bell. We're out. <laughs>